Welcome to the Neal's Homestead. I'm Jeanette and today I'm going to show you about how I candled eggs recently. I've got a batch of duck eggs in the incubator and they're, they've been in there 13 days and today's the day that I want to find out whether they're all good or whether I need to thin some out. I'm going to be using a small but very powerful flashlight to do the candling with. First I'm showing an egg that has not been incubated at all. It's just a fresh duck egg. For reference, I'm also showing you a brown chicken egg. I'm able to candle the eggs by leaving them in the carton and holding the little flashlight up against them. When I can see that there are blood vessels in there and the, the overall color is red, then I know that there's some viability there. I don't have any guarantee that it's going to hatch. Here I find one that is not fertile at all. It's yellow, there's no blood in it, there's no uh, veins showing up, so I just wanted to give you a close-up look on it. So that's a discard egg that I'm going to put away, throw away, take out, so it doesn't risk of going bad in there. You can see that the air pocket is getting bigger as the progression happens. And that's what you want to do. There's another one that's not um, viable, so we'll take it out too. You can see on the left that I have some quail eggs that will be hatching later this week, I hope. There's another one that's not fertilized. There's a risk that if you leave them in there that they could go rotten and explode. I've had it happen before. It's no fun to have an exploded rotten egg in the incubator. There's another one. This tray had quite a few. It's to be somewhat expected, especially this time of year whenever um, it was fairly cold when these eggs were hatched and I'm actually kind of surprised that so many of them are as good as they are. But it's really exciting to see the development of the blood vessels in there. getting quite a collection of no good eggs over there in that bowl. Here's one that I spotted some movement inside the egg. See that little black dot moving around? That's actually a duck embryo that is moving around inside there. It's really exciting. And if you stay with me, I'll show you a better picture of some. Here's one that was questionable to me. I, I can see a little bit going on in there, but I think that it's empty. I don't know for sure, so I just chose to put it back in there for this uh, hatch. It's not gonna hurt anything unless it would go bad, and I don't think it's going to, but I have a good feeling that it's probably not going to um, hatch up for me. Another one that's no good. Now here's where I'm showing you. See how that shape in there looks kind of like a shrimp? <laughs> it's even looks like it has little tentacles like a, and legs like a shrimp has. This was a different egg and there's quite a bit of movement in this egg as I get it adjusted. It's amazing and awesome to be able to look at that. And I wanted to share it with you. Thanks for coming around and looking.
Please subscribe and watch the next video.